Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World again. Thanks for stopping by and just remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, feel free to take a look at some of my other Armour 3 videos if you like. You can find them all in a playlist in the description down below. But anyway, today we're going to kick off my brand new upload schedule with what I like to call Tactical Tuesdays. And basically what this means is that every week on Tuesday, I'm going to be covering topics on various tactical shooters like Armour 3, Squad and Insurgency. As for what topics I'll be covering specifically, well, that's up to you guys. So if you've got an idea for an upcoming video, then let me know what you think in the comments section below. You can literally suggest anything you like, but just bear in mind, I won't have time to check out every suggestion, so make sure you come up with something fun and unique. Now, for today's episode, we're going to be checking out my top 5 aircraft mods for Armour 3, which is a pretty important topic because the base game doesn't have a lot to choose from. Certain types of aircraft don't even exist in the vanilla game, and of course, almost none of the vehicles are actually in use by present day forces. Fortunately, like with most things in Armour 3, if a vehicle isn't in the base game, well, you can just add it in free with a mod. And these mods, I think, are essential for anyone who plays this game, so if you haven't already tried them out, make sure you download them all. But anyway, to kick off, coming in at number 5 is the Boeing C-17 mod by Random Slap and Muxep, which I think is a must-have if you're not using any other mods. And that's because, like I said, some types of aircraft don't exist in the base game, and on that list includes any types of cargo aircraft. So as you can see, there's quite a few variants of the C-17 in this mod, including this Australian Air Force variant, which I often see flying over my own house. And it's not just the outside of the planes that look authentic either. All of the doors have realistic animations, and the cockpits look pretty cool as well. Now, next on the list, coming in at number 4, is the Mission Enhanced Little Bird mod, which is also known as MELB. And basically, as you can see here, this mod adds in a number of Little Bird variants which have a lot more features than the Hummingbird and the Pawnee. The most important of these features are the ability to carry missiles and the ability to use countermeasures, which makes them a lot more effective in-game. So if you're a fan of the fast helis, then definitely give this mod a try, because I think all of these aircraft are a massive improvement on the base models. So coming in next at number 3 is the 3CB BAF vehicle pack, which includes a number of authentic helis used by the British Army. And unlike a lot of vehicle mods, you can tell that a lot of effort has been put into this one to make them look, feel and sound as realistic as possible. The reason for this is because as far as I know, the 3CB guys are pretty hardcore milsim players, so their mods are great for anyone looking to roleplay British forces. So if you're interested in creating authentic British missions, or you're just looking for a bunch of new Blue 4 units, then definitely check this one out. Now coming in next at number 2 is Red Hammer Studios Escalation, which basically adds in the weapons, equipment and vehicles of the US and Russian forces. And as you can see here, part of this pack is a massive collection of aircraft, of which many have a range of different variants. The best thing about RHS though is that many other mods support it these days, meaning you can just turn it on and automatically replace the vanilla factions, which I think is great for pilots because in terms of aircraft, this mod on its own has got a lot more to choose from than the base game. Now, before we get on to the number one spot on this list, I should give an honourable mention to the F-18 and Su-35 mods by John Spartan and Saul. These planes are two of the most recognisable fighters in the world, and I think it's crazy that none of the other packs on this list actually include them. Also, I probably should give a mention to the Sopwith Camel mod from Saberdust, which adds in a number of variants of this classic World War I plane. It's obviously not particularly effective on the modern battlefields, but it looks cool, and honestly, what's not to love about a classic old biplane? But finally, coming in at number one on this list is not surprisingly the CUP vehicle pack, which basically brings back a lot of the vehicles from Armour 2. And this includes many of the same sort of vehicles available in mods like RHS, as well as many others that I haven't really seen in other mods before. The vehicle list in this pack is massive, but the best thing is not the variety of vehicles, but how great they look and feel in game. In fact, I think they're so good that most of the time, if I have to choose between an RHS or a CUP vehicle, I'd say 9 times out of 10, I'm gonna pick the CUP version. 
But anyway, guys, that just about wraps up this video. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Feel free to suggest a topic for next week's Tactical Tuesday. And as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos or if you want to support my channel on Patreon. And until next time, see you later and have a good one.